Hey guys, how's it going? We're going to be doing another ticker analysis session for uh, SPCE, Virgin Galactic Holdings, and BYND, that's going to be Beyond Meat. Um, these are by popular requests, mostly Reddit, and mostly Reddit. <laughs> so, uh, if you were one of the people that requested uh, the, one of these two tickers, well, here they are for you. Um, and I hope you enjoy them. So what we're going to be doing in this video is going through uh, a quick technical analysis of each ticker side by side, or one at a time actually. And then what we're going to do is introduce a couple indicators that we're going to use. It's going to be like the moving averages, MACD, uh, maybe a little ADL, uh, VWAP, and then uh, really end up with uh, support and resistance. So let's just get right into it. We're going to start with, uh, let's go ahead and start with the SPCE space. Let me bring it to a one grid view. How about that? Oh, wow. I have not looked at this space chart in quite a while. So just so just right off the bat, you know, the, the, the way I'm seeing it is... I would imagine this would be support. The reason I'm putting support here is going to be because... is going to be because of the bottom of the cross right here, body of the candle, body of the candle... Also tested right here, tested twice, and then I just moved it. So let's move it back up so it's not where it shouldn't be, and it still isn't. Hold on. There we go. And then let's just go ahead and map resistance, and that's going to be the price level in which space is having issues passing. So we're going to make that red. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw on some of the indicators, right? So I'm going to throw MACD on. MACD is going to be a measurement of the stock's momentum. So Really, we want to make sure that one, the the MACD histogram, which is this pretty much box, right, um, that it's positive. We can see that it's positive over here. Right here, we can see that it's negative 30. That's just because of where my cursor is. Now, when you're looking at MACD, the MACD crosses when they cross from negative to positive or, you know, um, neutral to positive or whatever, because these can just, you know, kind of trade sideways that's an indication of a crossover, whether it be bearish or bullish. Um, overall, the, I mean, the trend looks quite beautiful on, on SPCE. I don't know what's driving it, but that's not what we're here for. Um, the other thing is going to be uh, moving averages. So a moving average is going to be the average closing price of a stock over X amount of, you know, uh, trading periods you know, or trading days. So if we have the MA20, which is this blue line, that's going to be the average closing price of the stock over the last 20 trading days. Then if we have the 50, the 200, so on and so forth, the average closing over the 50 and 200 uh, periods. So we look at that, and then from there we get, um, you know, kind of a, an evaluation of trend. The MA200 is usually used as a long-term support and resistance, but we're on the daily. So let's go ahead and look at the 30-minute and see what we're seeing there. Okay, it looks like our lines still hold true because, again, whatever we see on the daily chart may be completely different on shorter time frames, and most likely is. We see that there is a potential for a MACD cross, but let's take the indicators off, right? Let's see what we can tell just from the chart alone. We can leave the MAs on there just because I like the way they look, <laughs> and then uh, we can go ahead and draw a short-term support right here. I think that's probably not too much to ask reason I'm, I'm drawing it here and mind you we're on the 30 minute is because this line was tested here it's the base of the candle right here as in the gap up and it's the resistance point on this candle as well so i know that it's a pivotal price movement or, or price point and uh it is nothing to be messed with <laughs> so to speak so um i guess right now i'm trying to identify what type of trend may be occurring with with space so I'm going to go ahead and draw this line to see if I can find a triangle. And the reason we, the reason I draw triangles, I guess, um, is going to be because it can tell me where the breakout point might happen or the breakdown point. And it looks like we're kind of on it, which would make sense because we already tested this level, which would be this right here, and we bounced considerably up. But let's look at the 15. And, you know, actually, let's look at the one minute. And before we get, you know, even more into the thick of it, why do we use triangles? Well, because these are going to spot the breakout points, right? So I know that it's probably going to trade in between this range, like it has throughout the whole triangle, and then it is either going to um, break out, which means it'll go up, and 
I don't have that mapped out, so I won't put that yet. Or it'll break down and it'll head downwards. Now, if it breaks down through the triangle, then we're most likely seeing it go all the way to this 2992 level. And so a lot of times when you see people with these blocks on their chart, usually it's for the gaps, right? The, the spots that the you know, bears have to fill. If it's on the other side, the spots that the, bull, the bulls have to fill. Now, while we're here, let's go ahead and draw some of the resistance levels, right? Because we know automatically this is going to be one uh, just because of the volume of the candle in relation to the trend and then really what happens right after this candle it's pretty much completely covered but this is all aftermarket trading so that's kind of to be expected so yeah no this would this would still fit up perfectly however space because it got so high so recently has a couple you know price points that can pose uh to be obstacles for it matter of fact i'm going to put this right here um, and the reason I drew this one right here, actually, I should probably draw it right here because we were already able to get up here. So we were able to claim this price point. So most likely I'm seeing space. I can actually bring this one over here An SPC. I, I know I'm saying space, but that's not it. I think it'll still trade here and then head upwards. And then it will also look to fill, you know, pretty much this gap, right? So let's go back to the five minute. So this is where I see space going, you know, because it is kind of consolidating right here. I don't know whether it's going to go down or up yet. It did create a new low on the day. So it could just completely curl back down to retest this 29 area. And I mean, if it does that, then we're looking at something like, like right here, uh, this 27 area, just because of all the price action, because this was a strong support for a long time right here and then it turned into or a strong resistance for a long time and then it turned into complete support right and same thing here so we know that if we breach these levels we're in for a lot of pain if we breach this level then we're in for a lot of gain right speaking from a bullish standpoint so on the short term space is consolidating looks to be consolidating for a breakout also because we have higher lows lower highs so that's consolidation um, but we already had the test and we created a higher higher low and then a higher high, so to speak, right? So keep that in mind with space uh, on the short term, um, consolidating, obviously. Um, long term, you know, I want to I wanna say space will continue to go up, which actually, no, I think, I think the, volume, the volume here does kind of um, confirm that. And a matter of fact, let me throw ADL on here. And ADL is going to be your accumulation distribution level. So... This will tell me if people are accumulating shares or if they're just uh, dispersing them to other people or they're pretty much selling, right? So even though we went down here, we didn't sharply go down, right? We're still going up, just not as sharply, right? So that actually gives me hope that we may be able to continue the uptrend. So just keep that in mind when we're looking at SPCE. Refer to what we went over in this video, uh, if you don't remember, but keep these price points in mind. They're going to be pivotal. And if you see it around these levels, then you probably should take a look at the chart and see what's going on, because that might be an entry or an exit. Uh, but going over to BYND, the other ticker, it's going to be Beyond Meat. Man, that we've seen a lot of mega caps take, you know, these crazy rallies and then huge hits. So let's see where BYND is standing in the fray of that. So just so just right off the bat, you know, um, we have the moving averages on have the MA200 gets right here, but then we see that the MA50 doesn't cross, but like is giving it a high five, and the MA200 went from going down to flat. So in a lot of ways, this does look like a trend reversal, and this looks like a very, very strong double bottom at 113.99. And a double bottom is a bullish reversal pattern. Now, if we're going to map the top, I mean, Simply put, we can just map it at 197 and call it a day right there. So let's go ahead and make that red. Now, what's interesting is it did this bounce, and it may bounce again. And the reason being is because this candle got high, but this candle didn't get as high, but the body did. So this does tell me that even on a short term, this may be the support level, this 137. But we're going to need to look at shorter time frames in order to see that. And I actually do want to see the MACD on this one. See, we're still very negative on the MACD. Cross, yeah, cross nonetheless, but still super negative. Hmm. 
Okay, so let's let's look at some shorter time frame. Let's go to 30. <laughs> Completely different picture on the 30. And a beautiful one at that. <laughs> so, okay, so right, right here, we can tell that the resistance is going to be this 145.80 level. And this, you know, in a lot of ways could be seen as a bull flag. It actually does look like a bull flag on the 30 minute. And what a bull flag is, is, you know, we have the flag pole. It has its first wave down, but the all the other waves are waving up because the wind's blowing it up, right? So I actually think that VYND is going to head up because it actually filled all the selling gap that happened here. And the MA200, like, jumped. The MA200 does not move like that typically because it measures 200 days. So a jump from one day usually shouldn't affect it like that. So that leads me to believe we have some good things in store. But let's let's look at the one minute before we get too excited. Yeah, no, this this looks um looks quite promising. Yeah. And then if I look, yeah, we have the MA200, or excuse me, the MA20 and the MA50. Getting a little scraggly here, but nonetheless trying to go up. And then look at these huge volumes. I mean, it's aftermarket trading, mind you. But this looks like it's about to curl up and retest 143.80 and then hit the other levels that we've already mapped out. So, yeah, I mean, this looks... I, I, I wouldn't call this a good one. But if you wanted to, actually, you could draw the trend line like this. I think this is what's going to end up happening probably sooner rather than later, seeing as how this is pre-market and this is, you know, the trading day. But if we want to draw from the top side, you know, we could do, we definitely would have to draw from that one. So maybe trading in here, and then if it gets rejected again at this point, which is pretty much level with this right here, then we'll most likely go back down to this uh, 135 area. But right now it, it looks it looks really good. Um, I don't see anything wrong really with BYND on both the short term and the long term. So um, kudos to those who have it on their radar. But again, that's all I got for you guys today. That was SPCE and then that was BYND. Hope you found these uh, really insightful. You know, and if there's any other videos you would like to see yourself, um, you know, feel free to reach out to us or leave a comment. But definitely don't forget to like and subscribe. But talk to you in the next one, guys. Thank you.